the antique medicines, you'll see things for delirium tremens. Now, that's a, a side effect of, of uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Alcohol. quitting alcohol. That's alcoholism. right. That's and it. You see it says it's for uh, getting off opium and nicotine mm -hmm. and chloroform. So it helps with that, too. Uh, here is a Eli Lilly bottle. We have a couple of Eli Lilly bottles in the collection here. Here's another one. This one is uh, extract number 96, and right next to it is uh, extract number 17. So Eli Lilly had a variety of different medicines, and we'll show some others on some other shows. Here we have a hypno sedative with cannabis. It also uh, has chloroform and bromide, which uh, the chloroform alone, of course, will knock you out. <laughs> this is uh, uh, for migraines. Now here it shows they were using cannabis for migraines and they mix this with aspirin basically uh, uh, extracted cannabis and aspirin pill from sharpened dome of Boston and then right next door we have another sharpened dome cannabis extract bottle this is from Mulford company in uh, Ohio it's a nice uh, collection all of these bottles date from 1870 to 1910 this one is about 1905 and I like this one because they call it American hemp and it's cannabis grown here in the good old U.S. of A. And it, it has a really interesting list of things I won't go through right now. Here is one of my favorite, and I eat these regularly. They're shelled hemp seeds from uh, Canada. And they, you can find them in a lot of different stores. Once you press your hemp seeds and take out the oil, you have a high-protein flour left. And here's hemp flour. You can make uh, hemp protein drinks, hemp patties and burgers, all kinds of things. It's really good. And here's one, uh, a couple of different versions of hemp milk. Yum. This one from Living Harvest. This one from Manitoba Harvest. They're all made up in Canada because we can't grow this stuff in the United States. The, the Drug Enforcement Administration doesn't think we can handle it. But we're going to get Octopast, and we're going to be able to grow it right here in the great state of Oregon. That's right. That's yes. right. And we need your help out there. So get ready. We're going to need you to come and volunteer because... We, you know, we we're going to create new jobs. Yes. We're going to create new industries. Yes. We're yes, going to we put are. Oregon on the cutting edge of some exciting right. new environmental and economic developments that will benefit our state a great, great deal. I could totally see us creating a, an industry here of uh, wood products too. Oh, know. it's all yeah. we've got I mean, all the we, pieces in place for that. We have the There's workers the who are laid off, you know, who products. have that knowledge. Yeah, we can put people to work at the state. Anything garden. made with petrochemicals can be made with hemp seed oil. Right. So uh, I look forward to.